It's like something out of a movie. There's Petman, there's Atlas, even the Wildcat. All are the creation of robotics manufacturer Boston Dynamics. Last week, the technology giant Google announced that it had purchased the company, its eighth robotics firm. Google's effort to develop robots is led by Andy Rubin. Andy Rubin is the guy who helped create Android, the operating system for all of Google's smartphones. And that started off as a risky bet. Google, the search company, is going to make phones. No one thought it would work, and it's turned into a huge, huge business for them. Google hasn't indicated what it's planning to do with its budding robotics division, but a study estimates that global sales of robots are expected to grow over 10% annually to $20 billion by 2016. Google's moonshots are projects that are far, far out long-term projects that can sound a little bit fantastical. Moonshots include Google's self-driving car and Google Glass, the augmented reality glasses coming out in 2014. It seems that robotics could be another one of these moonshots down the line. Right now, mostly large companies use robots and they're very expensive and very difficult to program. Google's bet may be that if they can sell robots to small and medium-sized businesses at a lower cost, they'll have a huge business on their hands. Boston Dynamics robots do a lot of things that people do. They carry stuff, they walk upright, they could lift a lot of heavy equipment. And so Google may be betting that if it can turn some of their robots into products, they can start replacing humans in service jobs.